I will record it. Okay, I will record it as usual. And you know where to get all the lessons videos, right? Okay, it, it is now, now, nowadays I upload it to the YouTube. Okay, my YouTube channel. Uh, you see, uh, on, on this day, I wrote here, all weekly conducted live lesson video would be uploaded to YouTube weekly from now on. Okay, after every five Friday lesson, I will upload, upload the video uh, onto the YouTube. Okay, so if you have missed the lesson or you have missed a few minutes, then uh, then you can get to the YouTube, okay, my YouTube channel. I arrange it in a proper order, okay. The one with a, uh, what we call it, the video list, okay, where, where it says A to Z uh, accounting learning, okay. If you cannot, if you cannot get to that, you let me. Okay, let's go to the homework. Beginning with 38, page 38, question two. Okay, this is the one that I told you to try as homework. Now we discuss and hope you have attempted it. It would be more meaningful, mean, meaningful to you. Okay, you learn better if you have attempted it. Now, let's see. We discuss this. Which of the following are incorrect? So, must remember, yeah? Must remember, keep in mind, you are looking for the wrong ones. Common mistake made by students, when they are reading the first one, they, they always they still remember they are looking for the wrong one. When they are looking at the second option, they maybe still remember that they are still looking for the wrong one. But as they look at the third option, the, the thought that you are looking, looking for the wrong one would start to fade away, really, okay? is something very usual, very common. Make is a commonly made mistake by the student, and then when they are reading the last one, quite likely that they would start looking for the correct ones instead. Okay, so uh, have to keep reminding yourself you are not looking looking for the wrong answer here. You are looking for the wrong answers here. Okay, page then page thirty eight. Yeah, page thirty eight for those who just joined. First one, good sold for cash. Debit cash, credit sales. This is fine. This is correct. Is this the answer? No. You are looking for the incorrect ones. Therefore, A is, A is out. A is out. Good spot on credit from T Cutter. Debit purchases, credit T Cutter. This is fine. Therefore, C is out. Because I see the two here. Goods returned by us to C Barry. Debit C Barry. Okay. What, what is this? Returns outwards. You see this term when you were learning the part two with me. Returns outwards refers to, so goods are getting out of our business back to the supplier. This is purchases returns. Synonym, yeah, synonym. Purchases returns refers to returns outwards. So uh, are the tab entries correct? Debit C Barry and credit returns outwards or credit purchase returns? Yes, it's correct. So again, the one with three is not the answer. Answer is last one. You don't have any other options. When bought for cash, you credit cash, but you cannot debit purchases. When you use the word purchases, it means buying goods only, goods. When is motor vehicle is an NCA, you should debit the name of the NCA instead, you should debit when. Therefore, this is wrong. Okay, when you buy goods, then only you can debit purchases. If you buy NCA, you debit the name of the NCA. Okay, so number four is wrong. Therefore, you choose it. Answer is D. Answer is D. Okay, if a problem, let me know, yeah? So answer is D. Okay, today we have a new friend here, okay? Uh, for those who are new, let me remind you, uh, the way we conduct the lessons here, if you have questions, you may speak to let me know, okay? Your questions, okay? You can ask when you... Uh, by speaking, you, you can ask by speaking or you can ask me by typing. Okay, up to you. Okay, now page 39. There's one, there, there are two questions assigned as homework as well. Question 34. Okay. I would like to know everyone's answers before I, I discuss this with you. Okay, you let me know. Okay, you let me know your choice for this question 34. Okay, five more seconds. If you have not done it, then you have to, then you don't have to give me. Okay, appears that two, uh, three of you did it. 
Okay, now, uh, which is the answer? Which entries will be made in the books of a small talks? When you are doing questions involving double entries, you must, you must see who you are in the question. When you see a couple of names given in the exam question, you have to see who you are. So I see two names here in this question. One is Ismoto and that is M. Johnson. So how to see who you are in the question? You see the, see the line that asks you what to do. I mean the requirement sentence. This is the requirement sentence. They say, which entries will be made in the book of Ace Moto? Which entries will be made in the books of Ace Moto? It's asking you how to record into the books of Ace Moto. It means that you are Ace Moto. Okay, yeah, when, when the question asks you uh, how something is recorded in the books of somebody, we are that somebody. We are that somebody. We are Ace Moto. Next, determine whether you are a supplier or customer. So read this sentence. Ace Moto sold to M. Johnson. We are supplier. Okay, yeah, step by step. Okay, then you can get the answer. We are Ace Moto. We are supplier. Continue to read. So a delivery van on credit to M. Johnson. Is it immediate payment from M. Johnson to us? Is it immediate payment? No. On credit means M. Johnson will owe us for some time. Can, therefore, you cannot debit cash. You cannot debit bank because you have not received the money. You debit M. Johnson. Therefore, C and D are wrong. Okay. Mm. And then, uh, answer is which one? Answer is B. So you have to understand what is meant by motor expenses here. Motor expenses could refer to petrol and toll fee, re repairs, repairs for the motor vehicles. Okay, these are motor expenses. Okay, now is the B is the B exactly correct? Credit sales. Sales means selling goods. Okay, then does it mean that the delivery van here is goods? For your information, delivery van is, is NCA, right? It's motor vehicle, right? Then how is how is delivery van goods here? You have, you have to make an assumption here. Okay, this question you have to make an assumption is because of the name of Ace Motors. Have you seen businesses where uh, in front of their shop, they have they, they will show that the name of the business, right? Whenever you get into a shop, uh, in front of you, you will see the name, right? Especially, yeah, actually every shop, okay? For example, 7-Eleven, in, in front of the, of the shop, you will see 7-Eleven, right? Okay, so businesses with Ace Motors, with the name of Ace Motors, the word Motors indicate that they are in the, in the business of buying and selling cars, Ace Motors. Motors means they are in the business of buying and selling car. Therefore, that's the assumption we are making here. We are, we are, assume, we are assuming that it's in the business of buying and selling cars, okay? Because of the word motors in, in the Ace Motors name. Okay, therefore, answer is B. We consider the delivery van as goods here. Okay, therefore, credit sales is the only choice here. So answer is B. Okay, yeah, now uh, C and D are for sure wrong, right? Because you should debit M. Johnson. Okay, C and D are for sure wrong. Okay, on the same page, question D. Everyone, tell me your choice. Question D. Mm. Give you 10 seconds. Okay. Answer is C. Okay, once again, it's about the understanding of uh, certain terms. Yeah, yeah. and I'm, I, I'm going to explain that. Okay, difference between equipment and stationery. So you have to first understand what is office equipment. Let me give you some examples. So you know, with the word equipment, it means NCA. Okay, with the word equipment, it means NCA. So what are the NCA that appears in the office? Give you some examples. Mm. Computers, computers, okay. Printers, okay, what else? Mm. Paper shredder, 
Don't worry, in the exam, they will not ask you for example. But I'm now giving you a few examples to let you know what are office equipment. So these are the things that you can use in the office for at least a year. Because you call this as NCA. Okay, agree? You have to, you can, you should be able to use the computer for a long time, right? Okay, should be more than a year. So they qualify as uh if office equipment because you use them for more than a year for sure. That's the definition of NCA. And what is stationary? Stationary, think of it as pens, papers, eraser, simple things, liquid paper, or we call it correction tape. Okay, so can you use them for a long time? Of course you don't. Once you have used it, you have to buy a new one, right? Okay, and papers, once you have bought a stack of papers, you have to buy again, right? Therefore, you cannot use them for more than a year, maybe just a few weeks or a few months. So you have to buy it repetitively. It's an expense. Okay, stationery is an expense. Okay, yeah, so let's read the question. How should the transition be recorded? Therefore, stationery is, is not NCA, okay? Stationery is not NCA. Trader purchases a supply of office papers on credit. Therefore, answer is not A because papers are not equipment. On credit means you have not made payment. Therefore, credit supplier. You cannot credit cash. You cannot credit bank. So, credit supplier. That is the generic. So, answer is C. Okay, yeah. Naima, you, have, you can understand my explanation. The rest, make sure you understand as well. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so uh, all these are quite tricky questions in the exam. Therefore, I let you do, okay? I always pick questions of different varieties. I will not keep giving you repetitive questions, letting you doing the same kind of question. It's, no, it's pointless. It's pointless. Okay, yeah, now continue to see the homework. Is this the table, the homework? Yeah, correct. I told you to attempt this entire table. Let's discuss this table. Uh, page 40, okay, page 40, which is the next page. I remember we discussed the second one. Now we look at the third line. This question asking you what account to debit and what account to credit, right? Okay. Now look at the third one. Vikram pays $250 of the cash into the bank. Okay. When they don't mention that, they, they, when they don't mention whether the cash come from your personal wallet, or, or it's from the business, you have to assume that it's from the business. Let me repeat, yeah. For the cashier that they say they put into the bank, when they don't mention this is a this is personal cash or business cash, you have to assume that it is, it is in the business. Okay? That means it is it's the cash that is in the business. Okay, so business cash getting into business bank account. What businesses would do this quite often? Restaurants, okay. In real life, restaurants, they would get cash a lot, right? They would get cash a lot. I know. Nowadays, they, they are a lot of payment options. They, they can pay with credit card. They can pay with uh, touch and go pay. They can pay with grab pay, Shopee wallet. So many other wallets, wallets around right nowadays. Okay, but uh, restaurants, they still receive cash as, as a major part of their payment. Okay, therefore... In real life, they will, they will have a lot of cash. At the end of each day, usually they will go to the bank with the cash with a few people accompanying, accompanying you and get to the bank and put the cash into the bank. It's safer, okay? If you store a lot of cash in your restaurants, it could be very dangerous, okay, in real life. Okay, therefore, uh, it's, what, it's what it's doing here. Put cash into the business bank account. Cash will go down your credit cash account. Credit cash account, 350. You have, more, you have more money in the bank, right? More money in the bank, right? So debit bank account, 250. Okay, I think this is quite simple. Number four, writes a check for $400 for his own use. Own use means personal use. You are using business money, okay? You are using the money from the business bank account. Therefore, you credit bank, credit bank account because the business bank account will go down. 
amount is 400. Okay. Debit what? Debit drawings. Okay, the last transaction we learned in the last lesson is about drawings. Later, we get back to the notes, we finish off the learning. Okay, credit bank, debit drawings. The word drawings is always with the alphabet S. Okay, drawings. The word drawings is always with the alphabet S. This doesn't indicate plural. Okay, this doesn't indicate plural. You know, English, you have singular and plural, right? Singular means more than one. Sorry, singular means one. Plural means more than one, but here it doesn't mean that. Okay, drawings is always with the alphabet S behind at the back. Okay, now next one, number five. But don't worry, uh, we, even if you have left out the, the alphabet S, it's not a big deal, okay? It's just accounting paper here. They won't, be, they won't penalize it. 600 is received from Mabel. And then before we dismiss, I told you that credit transfer means from one bank to another bank. It means... Uh, through bank, okay, online transfer or you or you call it online transfer. You receive money from Mabel. Mabel is a customer who owes us money, okay. Mabel owes us money, debtor. So we receive money from Mabel through bank, debit bank account. Our our bank account will have more money. Then you credit Mabel account. Mabel will owe us less. Mabel will owe us less after the payment. With the same amount okay mm. so 10 seconds if you are still doing correction after 10 seconds you move on to the next one okay now next question 23 mm. everyone you tell me your choice for this question 23 if you have done it as homework Okay, mm. let's discuss. How would Faraj record this transaction? So again, I see a couple of names in this question. You must know who you are in the in every question. There is Faraz, there is Tahil. Are we Tahil or uh, Faraz? You have to see the requirement sentence. They ask you, how would Faraz record this in this transaction? Transition means event in business. So we are far as we are far as in this question. Okay, we are far as in this question. Next, find out we are a customer or supplier. I see that uh, from this sentence, he purchased. So, and then from Tahil, we are a customer. Okay, so conclusion, our name is Tahil. Eh, sorry, sorry, we are far as, right? We are far as. We are customer. Okay, we buy things here. Let's see what we are buying here. First sentence is super important. It says, Faraz buys and sells new and used motor vehicles. It's in present tense. Okay, if you have gone through your grammar, grammar book from English, when it's written in present tense, it indicates that Faraz, carry, Faraz carries out this activity from time to time. Okay, she, he carries out this activity uh, frequently, daily. Okay, so that's what Faraz does. Faraz buys and sells new and used motor vehicle. That means Faraz is in the business of, Faraz is in the business of buying and selling motor vehicle. So are motor vehicles here NCA? No. Motor vehicles here are goods. Goods, goods are the things that you buy and sell. Okay, so... My conclusion is this. Don't always assume that motor vehicles are NCA. Sometimes when they say that uh, the business is about buying and selling motor vehicles, then motor vehicles becomes goods. Another example, you, you, you run a furniture store. Your business is, is about buying and selling furniture. So furniture will become your goods. Okay, so uh, you have to, whether something is goods or NCA, you have to see the, Business, okay, you have to see the business. If the question doesn't mention to you, if the question doesn't tell you what business that person is in, then you assume it's NCA, okay? If, for, for example, this question doesn't tell you the first line, then motor vehicles, uh, we assume that it's NCA, okay? That because 
That's what we usually do, right? We classify motor vehicles as NCA, unless question, unless questions say otherwise. Okay, now he purchased used motor vehicle from Tahil for seven thousand, which he paid for by check. Can the answer be boy or donkey? No, they say he pays by check. Answer is either A or C. Okay, answer is either A or C. So. Mm. For those who have not given answer just now, you tell me your answer, A or C. Okay, except Jason and Naima, okay, the rest can tell me A or C. Punkit, you may also try. Okay, then the bell. Okay, answer is C. Because I told you that this question, motor vehicles refer to goods. When you buy goods, you debit purchases. Okay. When you buy NCA, you debit the name of the NCA. But in this question, motor vehicles are not treated as NCA here. It's goods. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, next one. This table, right? Did I tell you to complete? No, I didn't. I didn't tell you to complete this table. And then... Actually, I cannot recall whether I told you to do or not. Never mind. Uh, we settle it later. Let's see if there's any more. Ah, this. Page 44. Everyone, you tell me your choice. Even though if you have not done as homework, uh, you can decide now. It's quite easy. Okay, Bunkit, you may also try. Okay, good. I see five answers here. Yeah, there are five of you here, right? Yeah, correct. Okay, I see boy C, D, B, C. Okay, so which is the answer? Common mistake made by students is they choose drawings. This is not drawings. So recall how to see whether something is drawings or not. You must have the word personal use. You must have the term personal use. Uh, hold on, yeah, let me scroll, scroll through here. Yeah, this is what we went through before we dismissed last week. So when you have drawings, drawings mean you take something out of the business for personal use. Okay, you use the business items personally. Or you have the word private use or you call it domestic use or you call it own use. Okay, just now we saw one, one question with the word own, right? Own use, private use, personal, domestic, or family. But see the question again. Do you have the word personal? Is it telling you that it's using the thing personally? No, right? They say cash of 300 is withdrawn from the bank for business use. They don't have the word personal, but they also told you that it's for business use. Therefore, C and D are for sure out. Okay, therefore, which is the answer? Answer is supposed to be... So, from the bank, mm -hmm. so the, the, the money in the bank will go down. Answer is boy. Okay, you are, sim you are simply taking money out of the bank. But have you used the money? Not yet. Okay, it is it's staying as cash right now. It's in the form of cash right now. Okay, after taking the money out of the bank. So, not drawing yet. Yeah. It's not for personal use. Have you, used, have you used the money? Not yet. The money has not been spent. It has just been changed to an, into another form. Instead of in the bank, now it is in the form of cash. You can see it. Okay, so answer is B. So yeah, this is common mistake made by students. Some students would choose C or D. They thought it's drawing. Okay, now no more for homework. Okay, get back to the notes. We learn a few more transactions. You go to page number... 32, okay, go to page number 32. We have a few more transactions to go through and then we go to the questions again. Okay, so that's how I conduct the lessons for, for all the topics, okay? Look at the notes, then look at questions, look at the notes, then look at the questions, and then, yeah, we keep repeating the process. Okay, last week we went through the transaction J, okay? So remember, uh, this topic is is, is quite about memorization. You have to 
they have to memorize what account to debit and what account to credit for every transaction. Okay, you must you must remember. Okay, we look at transaction K. So drawings for transaction J drawings, it means taking something out of the business for personal use, right? For transaction K, it is the other way around. You put personal things into the business. You may write down uh, something personal gets into the business. Something personal gets into the business. So what does this mean? It means you invest. You invest more into the business. Okay, you invest more into the business. So see, see, there's a term here, additional investment, or you call it additional capital. Sometimes they have the term known as capital introduce. Capital introduce. Okay, additional investment, additional capital, capital introduce, all this mean the same. Okay, you introduce capital into the business. Okay, so what would the dub entries be? I told you that transaction K is the other way around from drawings, right? Drawings is taking things out of the business for personal use. Transition K it is about putting things into the business, putting something personal into the, into the business. So does this mean that data entries would be the other way around? No. Okay. The, the data entries are not the other way around. Though. The other way around though. You, you are not going to credit drawings. Okay. For the transition K, you are not going to credit drawings. You are going to credit capital. You are going to credit capital. Okay. So uh, do the credit entry first credit capital and what do you debit you debit cash if you put cash into the business okay if you put personal cash into the business the cash in your business will go up so you debit cash if you put money into the business bank account then debit bank nca let's take maybe furniture okay it can be any nca Okay, so uh, this is when you put things into the business. When you invest into the business, you always credit capital account. Okay, yeah, again, I don't have the explanation for this. Okay, you just have to, you just have to uh, know it. Take it as it is. Okay, don't ask me why credit capital. I don't have an explanation. Okay, because it's a fact. It's the plus and minus of the subject. Would you ask your school teacher uh, why this is plus? Why this is minus? No, right? Okay, because these are the foundation of the subject, foundation of mathematics. This, this is plus, this is multiply, this is dy, this is minus. Mm, we cannot change them. Okay, so double entries are kind of like the plus and minus of uh, this subject. Okay, now go to the next page. Okay, page 33, okay, page 33. Okay, look at transition L, M, N, O, and then lastly, transition P. Okay, look at transition L first. Banking cash. Okay, banking cash means uh, you are putting cash into the bank. You are putting cash into the bank. So is it personal cash here? No, it's not personal cash. It's business cash. Remember, we saw a question earlier. Taking money out of the bank for, for, for business use. Okay, the one that you, you chose the wrong option, you chose debit drawing. Okay, it is the same thing. It's, it's something similar here. When the, just now I told you that when the question doesn't tell you whether it is something personal or something that's in the business, you have to assume that it's related to the business. So banking cash means putting business cash into the business bank account. Cash go down, and then uh, you will have more money in the bank, you debit bank. Okay, credit cash, debit bank. So this is something restaurants would normally do. Okay, restaurants in real life, they would normally put cash into the bank at the end of each day. Okay, transition M. We draw money from the bank for business use. Okay, so uh, this is the other way around. You debit cash, you have more cash, but you have less money in the business bank account. Yeah, so these two are simple, L, M, N. Transition N, taking a bank loan, okay, write, write bank loan, write the word bank. Okay, to be honest, 
you can actually borrow from anybody, okay? Not necessarily is from the bank. I believe you have, you have seen certain items like loan from maybe loan from maybe per, loan from maybe Ali, loan from maybe somebody else. Okay? It can be from it can be from anybody. And remember from part one, I told you there's a big difference between loan to and loan from. Remember, right? That's the tricky thing you learn in the part one. Loan to, loan to somebody means it's a current asset because somebody owes us money after you have lended to them. Loan from somebody means you have borrowed money from somebody, now you owe somebody money. So this is CL. Okay, yeah, it's a common uh, trick given in the exam. So you have to remember. Okay, now come back to this. We look at transaction and taking a bank loan. So how would the bank lend you money? Let's say you want to borrow 2 million ringgit. In Malaysia, we use ringgit, right? Let's say you want to use, you want, you want to borrow 2 million ringgit. Would the bank give you the money in the form of a few boxes of cash? Of course, they don't. It's inconvenient, right? Furthermore, it's dangerous, right? Therefore, the easiest way to lend you money is they will transfer into your bank account. That's the easiest way. Therefore, you will have more money in the bank. The bank lend you money by uh, transferring into your bank account. You have more money in the bank account. So that the bank, then you credit bank loan. Bank loan is a liability. Okay, then you credit bank loan. When you have borrowed money, do you have to pay back? Yes, when you have borrowed money, you have to pay back in the future. So payback also means repay. Okay, You pay back the loan, it also means repay. So when it comes to repayment, you have a choice. You can repay with cash or you can re repay with check. Okay, you can repay with cash or you repay with check. If you, pay, if you repay with cash, then you credit cash. If you repay with check, then you debit. Sorry, if, then you credit bank. Okay? You have less money in the bank. Okay, then you debit bank loan. Okay, hmm. you debit bank loan. Do you notice um, which entries do I do first? You have to observe carefully which entry I do first, okay? Uh, I just, just, just now for the end, I do this first. For the repayment of the bank loan, I do this first. Because we know the cash and bank account very well. You debit cash means you receive cash. You debit bank means you have more money in the bank. You credit cash means you have less money in the as cash. If you credit bank means you have less money in the bank. Okay, with this, you can, you can complete quite a lot of tab entries already. Don't, don't you think so? A lot of the transactions involve cash and bank. Okay, a lot of transactions involve cash and bank, right? Okay, that's why uh, before I started to teach you this, I taught you about this decision-making group. Okay, see, see every transaction, see whether you should receive money or make payment. If you, if you receive money in the form of cash, debit cash. If you receive the money in the form of check, debit bank. When it comes to payment, the other way around. If you pay with cash, you credit cash. Pay with check, you credit bank, right? Okay, this can help you to a large extent to in determining what to debit and what to credit. Of course, certain things you have to remember separately, like when you sell goods, have to remember your credit sales account. When you buy goods, you have to remember you have to debit purchases account. And for drawings, remember you have to always debit drawings. Mm, okay, and so on. Okay, let's continue. We look at uh, last one, page 33, page 33, transaction P, transaction P. Okay, starting a business is also an event in business. And you write the synonym of this. Sometimes they would, they would uh, write it as opening entries. Okay, it's also known as opening entries, meaning when you start a business, how should you do the tab entries in your accounting? Okay, when you're when you just starting a business. When before, be, be, even before you start your business, before you start your business, your, your business should be empty, right? Your business should be empty. 
when before even before you start your business, your business is empty. Therefore, when you start a business, logically you should put things into the business. You must put personal things into the business. That means you invest into the business. Does it sound familiar? Yes. I showed to you earlier using the transaction key. Transaction key is also putting things into the business, putting something personal into the business. But how is transaction key different? Transaction key is about additional investment. Additional means more, right? Additional means more, right? Meaning transaction key is for putting things into the business when you have run your business for some time. Okay, only the timing is different. Data entries are actually the same. Data entries are actually the same as the transaction K here. But it's just the timing that is different. Additional means you put more into the business, meaning you should have run your business for some time. You should have run your business for some time and then you put more things into the business. For this one, transaction P is when you start your business. Okay, you start your business by putting things into your business. Okay, so, but the data entries are the same. You credit capital. Okay, when you put personal things into the business, you credit capital. Okay, so I have given you three situations here. First situation is simple. I call it P1. Uh, this is P2, this is P3. So for the P1 transaction, we put just cash into the business. Okay, of course you can put anything. It's up to you. You are the business owner, right? But every business is different. Every business is different. So I think uh, there are so many possibilities of what things to put into the business. Therefore, I only have three samples here. I only have three examples here. Okay. Credit capital, debit cash. You put cash into the business. So you have more cash in the business. 10,000, 10,000. Another example, you may, you may put cash and money into the bank. Okay, you can put cash into the business. You can put money into the business bank account. Okay, so up, it's up to the question. You have to see the exam question, see what things they put into the business, then you do the data entries accordingly. Okay, so here, debit cash. If, if you come, come across any, I'll let you know about opening entries. Then you write the figure, 12,000, 10,000. And here, 22,000. The amounts must be the same. The amount used for debit entry must be the total of the amount used for credit entry. They must be the same. Okay, here, you put so many things into the business. So just copy and paste. Cash, inventory, bank. Okay, I write in short form, yeah, uh, to save time here. Then the figure, just copy and paste. 600, 4,000. And then here, 8,001. 8,001 is the total of these four figures. Okay, so something to take note. Don't always assume that there is just one debit and there's just one credit. There can be more than one debit. There can be more than one credit. Okay, the more transactions you see, the more questions you do, then you will be aware of it. So when you're done with the writing here, let me know. We go through questions uh, again in the, in the question section. Okay, good Naima, good Annabelle. Okay, good Jason. Mm, wait for Boon Kit and Patient. Okay, good. Well done. This table, we deal with it later. We get to the questions. We finish off those questions involving data entries. You come to page number 38, come to page number 38, 38, then you do question one. After that, tell me your choice. Okay. So uh yeah, again it's looking, it's asking you to look for the incorrect ones. Okay, begin. I give you maybe 2.5 minutes. I set the timer. Okay, for those who are new to the group, uh, this is how I do it okay okay you begin then tell your answer in the chat box
Okay, teacher is back here. Now, let's see. A, 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 A. Okay, end up here, your choice. Okay, A as well. So I remember the answer is A. Good. Now, let's see if the other two are wrong or not. First and the third one. So when for cash, debit cash, credit when, this is correct. Therefore, don't choose it. Good. Repay part of loan from C. Charles. Loan from C. Charles is an item here. Loan from C. Charles is the liability here. So now we are repaying. So the data entries are correct. So don't choose it. Good. Answer is A. Okay. And then we continue. You go to page number... Yeah, this page, page 41, page 41. Let's do these two tables together. Okay, page 41. Okay, this time you don't have a choice. You have to determine what account to debit and what account to credit yourself. Okay, I'm talking about this table. And let me uh, clear off one misunderstanding. A very common misunderstanding in students. The misunderstanding is this. Students think that the, the words to use, the words to use to determine what account to debit and credit can be found in the sentence given. Okay, can be found in the transition sentence given. Let me repeat, yeah. The misunderstanding in students is many of them think that the words used to determine what account to debit and what to credit can be found in the sentence given here. That means you can get some hint from uh, this sentence to see what you should write here, what you should write here. Is that always the case? No. Okay, no. So don't always assume that you can get the words for sure from the sentence to, to determine what to debit and what to credit. Okay, yeah. You have, to, you have to actually see what exactly happens in the sentence. Then you come out with the debit and credit yourself. Okay, what account to debit and what account to credit. So first one, owner introduce. Introduce means additional capital into the business bank account. Okay, so money in the bank will go up. Debit bank, credit capital. Remember, put things into the business, you credit capital. Okay, yeah, so uh, this time, yeah, you, you, you see both, both the bank and capital in, in, the, in the sentence, but it's not always the case, okay? It's not always the case that you can get the words from the sentence and become your answer. Next, paid rent of premises by check. Don't touch the word premises. I mean, you don't go and debit premises or credit premises because if you debit premises means you buy premises. But it's about the rent here. Rent is an expense. You, they say you pay by check. Can you tell me that you should credit check? There is no such thing as check account. You should credit bank. Okay, you should credit bank. Okay, you see, you don't get the word bank in the sentence, but you have to be aware of self. You have to be aware of the way of yourself. You should credit bank. Debit and then debit rent. Okay, paying for an expense. Credit bank, debit rent. Okay, and then next. Purchase goods for resale on credit from AK Supplies. So we buy goods on credit from AK Supplies. Okay, have you made payment? Not yet. Because it says on credit. So cannot credit cash, cannot credit bank, you credit AK Supplies. Cannot credit cash, cannot credit bank, you credit AK Supplies because you, you owe money to AK Supplies. Now, what should you debit? Don't tell me you should debit goods. There's no such, such account as goods. Okay? You should debit um, purchases. When you buy goods, you debit purchases. No other answers, yeah? Only one answer. Okay, the second last, the third last we have discussed, right? Last week, okay? Okay, second last, Purchase office equipment by check. Okay, remember, 
I told you before, whether something is NCA or goods, whether something is NCA or goods, you have to see what business the, the business owner is running. But do you know what business the owner is in here? We do not know. Because it's just a short sentence here. It doesn't tell you what the business, what business the owner is in, right? They, they don't tell you more about the business. So you do not know. You, you do not know whether the business buy, buy or sell office equipment or not. So when they don't mention, you assume that it's NCA here. Okay, because it's office equipment, it's an NCA here. So buy office equipment by check. You credit bank. Can you debit purchases? No. Debit purchases means you buy goods. When you buy NCA, you debit the name of the NCA. Okay, office equipment. Okay, buy NCA, you debit the name of the NCA. Don't debit purchases. That's the most common mistakes made. Okay, now last one. This time, you borrow money from AN loans. AN loans could be somebody, okay? Maybe, maybe a loan shark, okay? Or, some, or, someone, or somebody else, okay? AN loans. So you receive a loan from AN, AN loans means you borrow money from AN loans. And they say the money gets into the bank account. Okay, easier way, right? Okay, so debit bank, because you have money in the bank, you have more money in the bank. Then credit what? You can credit a uh, loan from AN loans. You can credit loan from AN loans. Maybe you have a question. You could have written just AN loans, right? Yes, it's, still, it's also acceptable. It's also acceptable. Because when you credit somebody's name, it means that you owe that somebody money. Okay, so up to you. Whether you want to write loan from AN loans or just write AN loans, either one is acceptable. Okay, both of them are acceptable. Okay, now we see the next question. Hold on, yeah, I, I'm still scrolling. Okay, this question. You see... Cambridge, they are very creative. They don't just ask you what to debit and what to credit. Sometimes they give you the accounts to debit, they give you the accounts to credit, and they ask you the other way around. They want you to give the transaction. Okay, so it could be a big problem to those who are not into writing sentences. Those who are not, uh, they, don't write, they, they don't like to write sentences. Okay, they don't like to write English sentences. So they will have problem if they if they see such a question. We see the first one, the debit bank credit sales. So you have to recall, okay? You have to think backwards. These tab entries, when would you do it? When you sell goods. When you credit sales, it means you sell goods. And how do you sell goods? By receiving check, okay? By receiving check immediately. Okay, so that's, that's why they debited bank and credited sales. So this, this is the answer given by them. Good so and the proceeds paid into the business bank. Proceeds means the money that you receive, okay? But don't have to write something as complex as what they give to us. Let me give you the simplest sentence for, for these tab entries, okay? Don't have to come up with complex or complicated, complicated words. We call it bombastic. Have you heard of the word bombastic words? In, in English essays or in Malay, Malay essays, uh, they like to use make use of bombastic, bombastic words to impress the teachers. Okay, they, they refer to words that are complex and they are usually the synonyms of the common words that you use. So don't have to use any complicated words here. You follow me. You write out, you write the answer here with me. So good for check. Simple? Yes, simple. And there are just four words, save your time. Isn't it more worth it? Yes, right? So good for check. Okay, you can still get the full marks. Doesn't this uh, sound, sound easy to understand as well, right? So good for check. So good and then receive check. Okay. Mm. Okay, now let's do the next one. Office expenses. Earlier, I explained office expenses, right? Office expenses could refer to um, 
stationery, okay, it could refer to stationery, papers, okay, these, these are expenses. Office expenses are not office equipment, okay? Office expenses are not office equipment. They cannot, they cannot refer to computers, printers, okay? Computers, printers, all those are office equipment, but office expenses are not. So you pay with check because they credit bank. Transaction, you write, um, pay for office expenses with check, with check. Simple? Yes, only six words. And it's straightforward, it's straightforward. Okay, let me write properly. Yeah, I know it's not good looking, the sentence. Okay, next. Debit Rashida, credit purchases returns. When you see the term purchase returns, it means we are customer. Okay, we are customer. How do I know? Because of the word purchases. It means you earlier, earlier you bought goods from supplier. Earlier, we bought goods from Rashida. Right now, we return goods back to Rashida. That's why we call it as purchase returns. Okay, now, write together. You may write it as return goods to Rashida. Again, simple. I know it's not a complete sentence without an object in front, right? Is it still acceptable? Yes. Okay, return goods to Rashida. You don't have to write, we return goods to Rashida. Okay, don't have to. Just write the other half, the other half of the sentence will do. Return goods to Rashida. Next, debit bank means you receive money into your, into your bank account. Credit commission receivable, it means you receive the commission in the form of a check. Receive commission in the form of, of a check. So you may write like this. Receive commission in check. Okay, simple, complete, easy to understand, still get the marks. Okay, so keep, keep things simple. Uh, they are not looking for anything complex here. Okay, next. Do you see crediting capital? Remember, when you credit capital, when you credit capital, it means you put personal things into the business. So how to see what things you put into the business? They debit office equipment. Okay. This is, uh, this is open to quite a few interpretations. Let me write a few versions of answers for this one. So office equipment, Okay, you, you follow me, you write first version of answer. First version of answer, you write um, brought home office equipment into the business. Okay, so you try to think, you want to run a business and you need to make use of a computer. Okay, you need to have a computer in your business. Mm, so what businesses need a computer? I think almost every business needs a computer because when you have a cashier, even if you run a restaurant, you need a computer, right? You need to have a cashier and yeah, that's the computer. Okay, you need a computer for your cashier at the counter there. So if you happen to have, if you happen to have a lot of computers at home, then I think it's logical that you can bring one of, the computers at home into, into the business, right? Rather than buying a new one, agree? So this is investing office equipment into the business. This is one way of writing the transaction. I show you the second version of answer. You may also write it as, okay. You may also write it as, board, An office is there line problem? Oh yeah, correct. Uh, and I noticed there's there's a message that, that pop up telling me that the line is not good. So I think now should be okay. Okay, bought an office equipment with personal fund. for the business, you see? This sentence would give us the same data entries as well. You are using personal fund to buy an office equipment 
for the business. Okay, again, it's an investment of office equipment into the business, but you are using personal money. Okay, the first version of answer, you, you brought personal office equipment into the business. Okay, so in either situation, you would have the same data entry. Okay, both are correct, yeah? Both are correct. Make sure you write them down uh, so that you, you get the idea. Okay, 10 more seconds. I discuss the last one and then we move on to the next question. 10 more seconds. Let me drink some water. Okay, let's continue. Last one. You notice that the credit bank, credit bank means you are spending money from your business bank account. Spending money from your business bank account for what? The debit bank loan. It must be meaning that you use the money from your bank account to repay bank loan. Okay, so let's write together. You write uh, repay bank loan with a check okay repay bank loan with a, with a check whenever you are using a check it means that you are you are using the money in the bank okay so repay bank loan with a check or you write pay back the bank loan with a check also acceptable okay so finish for this table must must learn how to write okay these sentences once in a while you may see such question okay give you the data entries then you have to write the transactions yeah, and then a few more questions. Let's see. Okay, no more, no more. Now, get back to the notes. I'm going to show you something. Okay, and then we get to the questions again. Okay, come back to page 33. Come back to page 33. Okay. Let me tell you another common misunderstanding in students. Students think that in a T account, the plus is always on the debit side. And then they, they also think that the minus is always on the credit side. That's not true. I mean, I, I don't mean that it's not true, but it's, that's not always the case. Whether the plus is on the debit or credit side, it depends on what, what account you are looking at. Okay, it depends on whether it's an asset, liability, income, or an expense. Okay, and through this table, okay, through this empty table, I'm going to let you know. Okay, when would when would the plus be on the debit side? When would be when, when would the plus and minus on, on the other side? Okay, and so on. So here this table, you follow me. For the left dollar column, debit entry means an increase. Okay, so if you see these three things, debit entry to this to their accounts means an increase. On another hand, credit entry means an increase for these three items, which I'm going to write together with you. Okay, now let's write together. Let's write together, and then I give you some examples. So don't assume that debit always means increase credit always means decrease yeah it depends on what items you see okay begin here right assets when you see assets account when you debit the account it means it has increased for example when you get more cash you debit cash right it means you have more cash agree okay and when you buy furniture with cash when you buy furniture with cash, you will debit furniture, right? Because credit cash, debit furniture. See, for assets, accounts, when you debit them, it means an increase. Okay, of course, the other way around would be decrease, okay? But remembering one side will do, okay? Remembering which side will give you an increase will do because if you try to remember both sides, both, both sides mean you try to remember which side give an increase, which side give a decrease, it will get confused at the end, okay? Just remember one side will do because 
credit entry to SS account would be the other way around, meaning decrease. Okay, so for me, just remember one side will do. Okay, remember which side means an increase is enough. Okay, next one, we look at um, expense, expenses. Okay, right, expenses. For expenses account, debit means debit means an increase. You pay more for expenses. I give you one example. Rent account. Rent is an expense, right? Rent is an expense, right? So let's say you pay for rent with cash. You pay for rent with cash. What would you do? You credit cash, debit rent account, right? You see, when you pay, when you pay more for rent, you go and debit rent. Meaning an increase in rent account is on the debit side. Okay, yeah. That's the nature of this thing. I don't have explanation for you, okay? You have to just accept that it is. It's the plus and minus of the subject. Okay, one last thing. Debit also may, means an increase for drawings account. Okay, for drawings account, um, it means an increase when you debit the drawings account. So if you can recall the data entries, whenever you take something out of the business, you go and debit drawings account, right? There is never an entry on the credit side, right? Therefore, uh, yeah, when you debit drawings, it means you have taken more drawings. Okay, so this table you must remember, yeah. I'm going to make use, I'm going to make you make use of this table to solve certain questions later. Okay, this table is very useful. Yeah, good, Naima, you are correct. Trial balance. Okay, you can make use of this table to do something known as trial balance as well, which I will tell you to do in part five, in chapter five. Yeah, correct, good. Okay. Okay, now credit entry means an increase for, okay, write down liabilities, liabilities. I give you an example. Let's say you, um, you borrow money from the bank. When you borrow money from the bank, what you will do? The double entries. You debit bank, then you credit bank loan. You see? When you borrow money from the bank, you debit bank, credit bank loan. What do you do to the liability account? Bank loan is a liability, okay? Of course, you have forgotten bank loan is a liability. Then you have to learn, learn from chapter one again, okay? In chapter one, we talk about uh, the two types of assets and then the two types of liabilities. I, I, and I've given you enough examples. So you see, when you have more liability, you credit the liability account, okay? So in liabilities account, when you credit them, it means an increase. Now next, you write incomes, write incomes. Okay, so for example, rent receive account. Rent receive is an income. So let's say you receive rent in the form of cash. Receive rent in the form of cash. You will debit cash, credit rent receive. You see, you go and credit rent receive account. As you receive more rent, as you receive more rent, you go and credit the rent receive account. Therefore, yeah, credit, credit means an increase for income account. Lastly, you write capital. Remember, whenever you put things into the business, you increase, you, you, you should have increased the capital. Capital means what? You learn it in part one. Investment from owner, remember? It means investment from owner. Investment from owner. Okay, so when you invest more into the business, can we say that you have more investment? You have more capital in the business? Yes. And then just now, we have seen a couple of transactions. We always credit capital, right? When you put things into the business, you always credit capital. Therefore, in capital account, credit means an increase. Okay, yeah, again, uh, this table, I don't have explanation for you because that's the way it is. You have to accept it. That's the plus and minus of the subject. Now, let me show you some questions. You make use of this table to answer. It's, it's a very easy one, okay? I show you. But you have to know to make use of this table. I show you. May go to page number 38. Then you try question 30. Then you tell me your choice. This question is easy. So only 30 seconds are needed. Okay, begin. Hmm. Choose an answer and tell me. Oh. 
Okay, I wait for two more answers. Okay, look carefully. Okay, easy questions doesn't mean you have to do it fast. Okay, you have to be even more careful. Even actually, when you do easy questions, you have to be even more careful. You, otherwise, you would have wasted the mark okay, in the exam. In the exam, for sure, there will be some questions easy, some questions difficult Okay, in the actual exam. I don't talk about school exam because sometimes school exam could be over easy, but sometimes school exam could also be biased having with a lot of difficult questions. Okay, certain schools, they are, they are quite cruel. They will give you a lot of difficult questions, challenging questions. Okay, but in the actual exam, you will see some questions easy, some questions difficult. The easy questions, you have to do carefully as well because they are the chances for you to gain marks easily. For the challenging questions, of course, have to uh, be careful as well. Okay, but you will have a higher chance of scoring mark from the easy question. Therefore, have to grasp it. 30, which, of, which could be represented by a debit entry? Increase in drawing for sole trader. Answer is A. If you refer to the table, increase in liability is represented by a credit entry. I, income is on the credit side as well. Decrease in asset, credit. Increase in drawing, debit. So answer is A. Okay, yeah, nothing to explain here. It's straightforward. Next. Okay, come to this next page. Uh, you do 5A, page, 14, page 39. Uh, you do 5A. So it's an exam question also. You tell me your answer by typing, okay? Uh, you have to fill up the three blanks here. So you give me all three answers in a row. You begin. Again, 30 seconds. Also simple, right? Okay. But when students are in the exam hall, when they see, when they see this question, they may not be able to link this to what they have linked, what, what they have learned, okay? Because there are so many things done at the end of the day, they may, they may not be able to think of the table. Okay, five seconds left. Hmm. Okay, I wait for all of you. Okay, you take your time. Should be, should just take you a while. I need three more answers. Okay, I wait for Jason and Annabelle. Mm, three answers, yeah, three answers in a row. Okay. Now, let's see. Complete the following sentences using words, debit and credit. Decrease in asset, credit. Okay, credit, right? Increase in liability, also credit. Increase in expense, debit. Okay, so uh, if you have done wrongly, you have, if you have made any mistakes, refer to the table again, okay? Don't guess, yeah? Okay, so um, these are the answers. Okay, next, you go to page Here, page 41, page 41, page 41, question 33. Okay, this one, I think you just need 20 seconds. Okay, begin, and then you tell me your choice. Okay. Okay, good. All of you have answered. Look carefully. Credit would not result in which of the following? Not. Okay. Increase in liability. Yes, a credit would result in an increase in liability. So therefore, answer is not A. Increase in asset. Yes, credit will not result in increase in asset. It should be a debit that increase an asset. So B is the answer. Increase in capital. 
Yes, credit entry will make capital increase. Credit entry will also make income increase. So answer is B. Then, no, NCA is asset. NCA is asset. There are two types of asset. Assets, there are two types, current assets and non-current assets. So assets. Hmm. You get what I mean? The table that I show you just now. So assets are here. So there are two types of assets, NCA and CA. So both NCA and, and CA are under, and under this left column. Okay, increase in NCA means debit. Increase in CA also means debit. Okay. Next question. Okay, now, no more questions for that, for, for, uh, that, that can require you to make, make use of that table. We now look at something known as balancing process. Okay, before I tell you what is balancing process, so this is page number 30, 44, page number 44. Okay, page 44. I'm going to guide you through what is this, okay, and how to do it. It's a very common process that you do in accounting. If you have been learning with your school, you should get what I mean is about writing the balance CD and balance BD, those things. Okay, and I have the step by step for you to follow here. So before I get through that with you, you try question 25 and question 26. You tell me your choice. Ah, no, you just do 25, then you tell me your choice. Okay, mm. begin. I, let, 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 and, then, and then I will see how many of you can get it correct. Uh, then I would know whether you have understood it well or not. Okay, so two minutes, yeah, two minutes. For question 25, okay, I wait for you. Okay, I see two answers here. I wait for the rest of the three. Okay, now time's up. Uh, not time's up, but all of you have answered. So let me explain this question. Uh, be well, no, be before I explain the question, let me tell you how to do a balancing process and the purpose of doing it. So at the top right corner of you should have this, this box. So balancing process, basically you do it to find, the purpose of it is to find the balance, the balance or you call it the leftover. Okay, so what does it mean? When you are trying to do balancing process to a cash account, you are trying to see how much do you still have as cash in your business? How much cash do you have? Do you still have in your business? When you try to do balancing process to a bank account, you are trying to see how much money you still have in the bank account. Okay. When you try to do balancing process to a maybe a motor vehicles account, motor vehicles account, you are trying you are trying to see how much motor vehicles you still have in your business. Get the idea? Leftover the balance. Okay. Yeah. Now, after knowing the purpose, you have to know how to do it. Okay. You should have done it for, for many times if you have gone through this with your school. 
But let me show you again. So this is known as Atakari account. Before I tell you how to do the balancing process, you try to tell me who is Atakari. Atakari is a supplier or customer. Okay, you take 10 minutes and tell me. Okay, if you think that Atakari is supplier, you type supplier. If you think that Atakari is customer, you, you type customer. Okay, I wait for Bunki to try. Okay. It's something very crucial, okay? Not, not to answering this question, but in certain questions, especially MCQ, you have to understand when you observe an account, a person's account, you must know who that person is, okay? And then they will give you option A, B, C, D. They will ask you which, which statement is correct, okay? If you know who is, who is customer and who is supplier, you will answer correctly, okay? You have to get the fact correct first. One, one fact you have to know is that we would never, we would never open an account of our own name. Okay, that's the first thing you have to always know. We would never open an account of our own name. So you see that this account's name is Atakari, right? That means we are not At Atakari. Okay, that's the first thing you have to know. We are not Atakari. Okay, yeah. why, why would we not open an account of our own name? Let's say uh, Jason, Jason runs a business. Would Jason open a Jason's account? No. Because it's not logical. It's not logical for you to open your, your own account to show how much you owe yourself money. Does it sound logical? Open an account to show how much you owe yourself money? No, right? Therefore, that's the first thing you have to know we would never open an account of our own name. Okay, therefore, we are not Atakari. Next, to find out who is Atakari to us, whether Atakari is a supplier or customer to us, you observe the entries made in the Atakari account. So, how does this come about? How does this come about? This comes from debiting purchases, crediting Atakari. Don't tell me that this is crediting purchases, okay? You must always focus on the number, remember? For that entries, you must always focus on the numbers. Okay, this means credit at the career account. Focus on the position of number. So why would you do this entry? When we bought goods on credit from Atakari. When you bought goods on credit from Atakari, you would debit purchases, credit Atakari. Anybody wants to change answer? Atakari is our customer or supplier. We bought goods on credit from Atakari. Therefore, we debit purchases, credit Atakari. Atakari is our supplier. We bought goods on credit from Atakari, right? So we are customer. Atakari is supplier. Ah, okay. So yeah, that's how you determine by observing the entries in this person's account. Okay, uh, let me repeat. When you, when you see a person's account, you must first know uh, who is this Atakari, okay? You look at the entry here. This comes from doing, debit, deb, doing debiting purchases and crediting Atakari. This indicates we bought goods on credit from Atakari. Therefore, Atakari is our supplier. Okay, uh, that's how to determine. So supplier, okay, our supplier. Okay. But that's not the thing in this question. But I still explain to you because it's very important for certain exam question. Okay, I agree. Yeah? Atakari is our supplier. Next, I want to show you balancing process. Balancing process is to find the leftover, right? Leftover to find the balance. So what are you trying to find out when you try to balance Atakari account? You are trying to find out 
how much do we still owe to Atakari? Okay, when you balance this person's account, when you balance this Atakari account, you are trying to find out how much money we still owe to Atakari. Okay, so first and foremost, you form the total row first. This is what I call as the total row. They must be on the same level. Okay, the lines must be on the same level. Okay, don't make one side up. Uh, a bit upper or, or, don't, or don't make the other side a bit lower. Okay, they must be on the same level. I call this the total row. Okay, then we go through the step. Step one, C total debit or total credit is greater. So very obvious, right? The credit is greater. Okay, so first step is done. The credit side is greater. And then total up the greater side. So 300 plus 270 plus 60. 300 plus 270 plus 60, 630. Okay, right here, 630. Yeah, step two finish. Yes. Step one, series side is greater. Step two, total up the greater side. Step three, copy this total to the other side. 630. Okay. This step-by-step -step solution for balancing process, you cannot, it, you, I don't think you can find it anywhere, okay? In textbooks, you don't see this step-by-step. Okay, uh, yeah, I created this step-by-step step myself so that you can easy to follow, okay? Because sometimes the school teacher might be too fast in doing this process and you may get confused. But with the guide here, step-by-step, step, I think you will make mistake. Okay, first step, see which side is greater, total up the greater side. Third step, copy the total to the other side, okay? So the third step is, uh, just now I copy this to here, okay, copy to the other side. Now, step four, deduction means minus. Deduction means you take this figure that you have just written minus these two numbers. Then you get a figure you put here. Okay, take the 630 minus 260, 370. So step one, step two, step three, and step four have finished. Then you have to write these two terms, balance CD and balance BD. CD stands for carry down, BD stands for brought down from top. So you write this first, balance CD. You can write this short form, okay? CD is an allowed short form to write. Then diagonally means like, like this, balance BD, 370. Write down the same figure. Okay, and as far as date is concerned, here is the last day of the month. Here's the first day of the next month, February 1st. Here, write the same year. Whenever you have done the balancing process, must rewrite the year. You must write the year again. Okay, must write the year again. Yeah, this is super important if you are really doing structured question, okay, where, where you have to do an account yourself. Okay, now, which is the answer? Just now, I saw that most of you choose C. Okay, most of you choose C. Yes, C is the correct one. You, all of you have not made the common mistake made by, made by other students. Common mistake made by students is they choose B. Common mistake made by students is they choose B. Reason, they told me that they are, they are asking for balance on the following account on 31st January 2019. They told me about the date. Because the date is 31st January 2019, then we should refer to here, right? Then shouldn't be the answer be B. Okay, students would tell me the reason. Tell me this as the reason. Okay, because they are looking for the balance on 31st January. We never care about the dates. You must always remember, balance means balance BD. Okay, never try to interpret balance as balance CD. It would be wrong. Okay, you would give the wrong answer if you think that balance is balance CD. You must always know and remember balance refers to balance BD. So balance BD is here, therefore answer is C because it's on the credit side, the balance BD. Yeah, so that's one way to know which is the answer. Okay, focus on balance BD. Balance means balance BD. The other way of determining answer is B or C, whether you have a debit or credit balance, you see which side is traded. You see which side is greater, debit greater or credit greater. If debit is greater than the credit, 
means you have a debit balance. If the other way around, credit is greater than the debit, it means that you have a credit balance. That's another way of determining. So you see, total credit is greater, right? Just now we found that, therefore it's a credit balance. Okay, therefore answer is C. Okay, I get the idea. Must remember, balance means balance BD. Okay, and another way of determining whether you have a debit or credit balance, C which side is greater, C which side is greater. Oh, when to use CD and BD? You must write CD on top first. You must write CD on top first, then BD at the bottom diagonally because CD stands for carry down. So carry down. BD stands for brought down from top, brought down from top. Mm, always CD and then BD. So when would you write CD and BD? When you do balancing process. Okay, when you do balancing process. Okay, now one more question before dismiss. Do question 26, you tell me your choice. Okay, mm. you, all of you may begin question 26. Then you tell me your choice. Not sure if you understand the question or not, but I let you try first. Set the timer to be one minute. Okay, I'll wait, I'll wait for the rest. Okay, I think the major problem is you may not understand the question. Okay, so that's one thing. So let me interpret for you what it means first. Okay, so one one. The first obstacle is to understand the question. Once you have understood the question, then you understand how to do. They want you to find, so what would have been the balance? They're asking you for balance. That means you have to do balancing process, then you can find the balance, right? Okay, so now you know we have to do balancing process. On the account of Atakari in question 25, which is this one, on 31st January 2019, they're asking you what would have been the balance on 31st January 2019. They're asking you, okay, why, why, why in the first, first, first place you balance the Atakari account? You want to find out how much you still owe to Atakari. So if you rephrase it, it means you want to find out how much you how much you still owe to Atakari on 31st January. Can I understand? They're asking you how much you still owe to Atakari when it is on 31st January. It means you can ignore anything that is after the 31st. Okay, then you find out on, 30, on 21st, you still owe Atakari how much? So Atakari copy down all the number except the one on 26th of January. Then you balance it, then you can get the answer. So those who have not given answer, you try now. You tell me your answer based on what I have explained. Just balance this account, then you can get the answer. Those who want to change answer also let me know. Okay, answer is B. Okay, so 570, because credit side is greater, copy this to the other side, then do deduction, you will get a 310. Balance CD, balance BD. Okay, 310. Therefore, answer is boy. Okay, credit balance of 310. Okay, so yeah, these are the questions that you may see in the exam. 
your homework. Let me tell you your homework. Your homework is to do Okay, there's a question without page number after page 45. Okay, after page 45, your homework is doing question one. So remember or not, knowing what account to debit and what account to credit is just one part of this topic. Okay, knowing what account to debit and knowing what account to credit is just a small part of the topic. Okay, maybe half, okay, half of the topic. The other half is about knowing how to record into T accounts correctly. Okay, you must follow the rule that I told you before, then you would not make mistake. You must always write numbers first. Then you write details. Then you write the dates. Dates are the easiest to write, don't write first. F position the numbers correctly first, focusing on positioning the, the numbers correctly first. Then you write details. Remember what to write for details? Name of the other account, right? Name of the other account. You can watch the earlier lessons videos, okay? They are all on the YouTube, arranged in the proper order, okay? And if you cannot find, you let me know, okay? To rewatch uh, how, I, how I guided you in this, okay, write number first, then write detail, then write the dates. So this question is a lengthy one. It will take you some time and after you have done, after you have done, I will send you the full answers for this question. I won't discuss it in the lesson because it's very time consuming. This question starts from this page all the way until the end of part two. Sorry, this is part three. Okay, so many, how many pages are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight, eight pages. This question is not a past exam question, but it's a question that I designed to make you practice, okay? To make, actually not me design, and I didn't design this, someone else, okay? Someone else designed this question. It helps you to practice recording the data entries. Yeah, correct. You, you don't have to send your answers to me. Uh, once, once you are done, you can look for me to for the answer. I will send you the full answers. Okay, so this is your homework. Make sure you attend. If you can do this question 100% correctly or 99% correctly, it means that you are very okay with data entries already. Okay, so that's it for today. I see you next week at the same time. Make sure you do. If you want to answer, after you're done, you let me know. Okay, bye everyone. Have a nice day. Good night. Welcome. Welcome everyone.